Hello YouTube, it is Damien, it is Damien Does England, it is season 6, season 4 here in Bournemouth. If you can't tell from the attire and you haven't watched last episode, go check it out. But we are champions of the Premier League. It is now to bring the curtain down on our career here with Bournemouth. And it is our old sparring, par sparring partner, Liverpool, in the FA Cup final. I cannot think of a better way to go and finish our time with Bournemouth then go against Liverpool, who've had so many great games against, and have another great spectacle in the FA Cup, and hopefully win the league. We're going to take a chance to, you know, go through this episode and really talk about the players that we have here. And at the end of this episode, you will see us resign and become, hopefully, Brighton manager. And we will do that all after the FA Cup. Look, we have Ray in goals, a guy that I love oh so dearly. If you can't, if you have the money, go pick this guy up. He's an absolute freak. He's going to go down as one of the best keepers I've ever used, along with Alex Smithies, and everybody knows on the stream how much I, rate the, I highly rate Alex Smithies. Um, Aurier, he's done my head in a time. Wallace, though, unbelievable. Um, you know, what a centre-back. He's been great. Ginter's transformed the side. Jorge has been unreal. He's playing for an injection in this final game, so I want him to play. He's a freak. Um... Albert, Adriano is a guy that I might try to get a Brighton. I highly doubt I can. Heidemann, boy, what a player. Absolute monster. And look, if you can pick him up cheap, do it. Diego's been great this season. Would have played Cecil Young in this final one, but he is injured. Um, our media silver, though, will go down as one of the best strikers I've ever purchased. He's currently playing at a leading level and has world-class potential. There we are, is silver, according to quite a few of the reports that I've seen. Silver is a bit of a freak. I love the guy. He's going to go down as one of the best strikers I've ever bought. But the best striker that I've ever used on Football Manager is a big call. Is the freak himself, Pietro Pellegrini. What a player. He is an absolute mountain of a man. This is the first time I've ever played, used him on FM. And will probably be the only time because Monaco never really sell. The very rare occasion of him getting upset at Monaco and wanting to leave came about. 17.5 mil well spent. Other important players to really mention, I've really been happy with Bruno Manzo. He's actually grown into a leading Premier League player. And I actually care more about Manzo. And so we're going to play him in this game here. Um, Carl Allslop, by the way, has grown into a leading centre-back. He looks unreal. If I had the money um, to spend, I would get Carl in straight away. Uh, Ryan Sessegnon's been a freak. It's been a joy to use Ryan. The first time I've ever used Ryan on FM. He's looked the goods. Um, Suarez has been good on the free. Danny Quinn, though, the 19-year-old. We played him as a 15-year-old in the Premier League. Mr. I want an assist has gone in and done the job, and he is amazing. I think I've missed someone, by the way. Paolo Alvarez, the instant hero. This guy is just unreal. He was unreal for us here at Bournemouth. 14 goals, 16 assists this season, 32. Those stats deserve the win. Um... To win the Premier League. Marino, by the way, what a player. 20, 13 and 26, but so many games off the bench. Only five starts all year. What a player. If I could pick him up next season, I will. Um, other important mentions, Callum Wilson. Like I would love to have used Callum at some point. What, Mr. Consistent, Mr. Reliable. If he ever gets transfer listed, I'll pick him up. It doesn't matter how old he is. Um, Carlos as well, the wonder kid. I would have loved him in the title running. We didn't have him, but we won the Premier League for you, my old boy. He is absolutely amazing, the Colombian, and he's still got potential to grow. Um, Melling has been a great club captain. If he ever gets transfer listed, I'll happily pick him up at Brighton as well. And then there we are, uh, as all the mentions. I think Danny Drinkwater deserves a mention, but he's currently on loan. And there we go. I think that's the look. This squad's been unreal. This is going to be a big call. But I reckon this squad is just as good as my bright, as, as my Sunderland squad on Bright Lights. I reckon my Bright Lights squad and this squad going head-to-head, -head, I reckon it would finish. Bright Lights will win it, but like 4-3. It will be something ridiculous. It would be crazy because like Alvarez is better than the right wingers we played. We had Harry Wilson. Um, you know, there we are. We had Haller. I think Alvarez is better. Amelia Silva and Nicholas Adrian cancel each other. They are. Pellegrini was better than anyone Nicholas Adrian was partnered with until we got Mbappe. Mbappe was good, but Pellegri is great. The midfield too is unreal, and I actually really rate Raya. I feel like Raya was better than any other keeper we got apart from Smithies. So like, I think Raya is better than Mateo. Um, I think our back two is better than what we may have had at Bright Lights as well. I think Jorge is the best left back I've ever used on FM at the moment in this FM as well. But yeah, look, it would be great to watch those two play. But look, Bournemouth has been an absolute pleasure of a save. And it is great. But we are off to the FA Cup final, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. No Becker. Wow. Becker not starting in the Cup final. Gomez, Pernilville, Van Dyke, Robertson, Go Govalev, 
De Jong, Kay, Roberto playing on the left, Mane, Vandenberg. There's no room for Guardes or Insigne. Interesting. Super Penguin 1. Challenge is very simple. Win the Premier League with every current Premier League club. At the moment, we won the Premier League with Arsenal. And this season, we just beat Liverpool in the Premier League in the most craziest Premier League of all time. There we are, 104 to 101. So next season, we will be at Brighton doing an alphabetical order who survived in the league, so we get to stay in the Premier League next season. We are going to go back to the FA Cup final. Good time for you to join us. Score predictions in the FA Cup final. I still have my tie around my head. I don't care. We're here to enjoy it. We're hoping it's a classic. We don't want this to peter out. We have played so many crazy ties between Liverpool in the past. Let's go out there and hope this one is another crazy, crazy game against Liverpool here at Wembley on a lovely Sunday afternoon. Look, if we win, I don't mind. I'm be happy. If we lose, I don't care as well, as long as it's a great game against Liverpool. We have a lot of time for. Super Penguin has come in with the follow. Get your Alan Padres out. We are live on Twitch, YouTube, as always. Go and check the links out below. Anyhow, Lenzar comes in or just wants to watch the clip straight away. 12 minutes into the FA Cup final. It is currently nil-nil. And hopefully we'll get some goals. We definitely will. Goals come in this game thick and fast, usually. But maybe the pressure of a cup final may tell. And it may be an interesting, different sort of game between us and Liverpool. Anyway, Diego Heidemann, he switches out now towards Paolo Alvarez. Paolo now with the ball. Still with Paolo. Gets crunched. Falls the Manzo first time in. Pellegrini the freak. He's hit the bar. Never mind. How you doing, mate? Good Super Penguin. How about you? I've won the Premier League. I'm chuffed. Have you ever done a player exchange deal? Um, I have, but you need to exchange a player. They're usually very, very exploitive, FM. You know, with the, what they ask. Anyway, K, flick on ahead of Virgil. What a block by Jorge. Playing with an injection. Colossus stuff. And it's still nil nil here in the FA Cup final. Would love to win it again. Anyway, Govelin now. We've won it three times. Twice here at Bournemouth. Once with Arsenal. It will be our fourth time we've won it in six seasons. Maybe we're just an FA Cup specialist. My mate calls me the Cup specialist. Maybe I am. Who knows? Anyway, nil nil at half time. Can I say this is the first time I reckon that we've seen Liverpool and Bournemouth get the half time at nil nil? This is not Liverpool and Bournemouth. Anyhow, this is not an FM player, but a player plus dollars have done in last FM. Yeah, they always want dollars as well. Lenzar, new save incoming. Boo, Armand. We don't want that. Renato has 37 goals in 26 games for me at Juve. Unreal. Anyway, we are going to continue on. Get creative, lads. This has been a very poor cup final. This is not what we came here for. Anyway, 58 minutes played. Still nil, nil. And not much happening out there. I'm going to make a change. Sue is currently playing injured. I'm going to get Marino on because he does know how to score goals. And at the moment, this has not been your typical Liverpool Bournemouth final. Usually, it has been flooring, pacey, Lots of goals, but at the moment, 80 minutes played, nothing really happening. Looks like a Bruce in. Aurier can come on then for Aurier before Manzo goes down and Aurier comes on. 85 minutes played, there has not been a highlight in this game. What a weird cup final between two sides that have scored mountain of goals. The two best sides in England. The best side in world football, according to the reputation, is Liverpool. And there you are. Uh, aggressively say I've been far from pleased, to be honest. I'm not really too happy with how this game's panned out. I wanted goals. We wanted to sit here and enjoy. And a cup final had so much promise, it's just petered out. In the end, extra time. Maybe there will be goals here. Time's ticking away. 95. This is going to be nil nil in penalties, isn't it? I am going to make a change. Diego's not 100% fit. Look, Ryan, you're Mr. Bournemouth. Go out there, go do it. There we are. Yeah, the AI don't offer an exchange deal, but I reckon you can and, like, they're just very exploitative. Anyway, 100 minutes play. This has been one of the worst FA Cup finals I've been part of, and this has been the worst game I've played against Liverpool. Look, it's good not to concede against Liverpool because when we're Brighton manager, Liverpool going to pump us, like, 11-0, something like that. We've lost 9-0 to them with Sunderland a long time ago, and then we produced. Can I make one more change? I don't want to take the instant hero off, but no, nah, I can't. All right, so that rule's not in place. We are going to start the second half. I was going to say, Danny Quinn deserves some time. So you've been moving to waiting for job offers or applying. So how have you been moving to between clubs? I'll show you in a second because we are going to see it. Marino, maybe a chance here in the cup final. Nothing. Um, Super Penguin, what we've been doing at the moment is we resign from the club. We then put a manager in as the next manager, like we will do at Brighton, retire him straight away, and then go for the interview process. I hope we get the job. Usually we do. 
Anyway, I'm going to save yours. It was the most impressive to pull by an Aussie on the screen since the Maru was winning. Wow. Anyway, highlight, 118th minute. Liverpool was broken my heart before late in cup finals. Not far there from Govelin. They broke my heart in the Champions League final with Bournemouth. 190th minute. There is one minute left at a time, and something tells me there's going to be a highlight, and it's long. Because Ginter win, he does, but head straight to De Jong. Mane, out of play. It's going to be penalties. The One of the worst FA Cup finals I've ever been part of. There is 40 seconds left for a team to do anything about it. Session Young flicks it away. It's another throw in. This is going to take another 30 odd seconds to get the ball back into play. 10 seconds maybe. But it's now or never for one side. Whoever wins the ball from this front is going to have the last chance. Liverpool are playing for penalties. What's going on? Kane here. You have some pain incoming, Brighton and Burnley. Oh, mate, I had Bournemouth, Brighton, Burnley, then Cardiff, Lenza. I've got plenty of pain. Anyway, for B Fabio there. Guarez, don't you dare, Mane. Wow. Talk about pain. I just had a, I just had a bloody punch to the gut. Ouchy wowies. <laughs> Liverpool 1, Bournemouth nil. Corner, don't you dare. Alvarez whips it. Back stick. Marino doesn't win. Sessignon, get it back out to him. Whip it, Alvarez. Do it one time. Oh. This is the sad way to end our trip with Bournemouth. Nice to see the goalkeeper look interested. It was a great strike. I can't blame Ray. Ray has been superb. Ouch. Out of all the ways to leave Bournemouth... We lose the cup final of about 20 seconds left on the court. Now it looks like a rage quit. It does, doesn't it? It's not. We're happy. Look at what we achieved with Bournemouth. Unlucky, boys. It wasn't our day. I'm not going to get angry at this side. I can't get angry at this side. This side has been unreal for us. We have so many players that have been unreal. It's just unfinal. Oh, it hurts. It definitely does. Oh, no comment. And off we go. I don't care. I'm not going to be manager here. FA Cup review. Runners up as us. Liverpool win it. It happens. The tie comes off the head because this is not celebration now. This is just pity. Pity and pity. Lenza. Yes, you don't sound Italian. This is what happens when you live in Australia for 23 years. And there we are. I am Italian, though. I have an Italian background. My name is Damiano on my driver's license. In the end, we have some awards to get through. Players inducted to the overall Hall of Fame. Pellegrini and Callum, Sessignon, Heidemann, Carlos, Sissoko, Melling, Ginter, Wimmer, Manzo, David Raya. Surprise, Alvarez hasn't got in there. Uh, Sissoko's at Leeds. Bournemouth 2024 season review. It was a memorable season for us. It was end of team season meeting. Discuss the plans. Um, we're going to go for the title again. Even though I won't be here. Confirm pre-season. And there we are. You're Australian Mafia. Considering how Jesselyn's are, maybe. In the end, though, for everybody on YouTube, we know what's coming up now. It's time to resign as Bournemouth manager. What I am going to do for everybody on YouTube, though, is we are going to split this into a second part now. I am actually going to make it on my own save. It's just the Bournemouth save. Because if I ever get bored, I might open it up and see what we can do in the future. It's been a great squad. I have enjoyed my time at Bournemouth. And you, would, you will expect to see some of those players in my greatest 11 of all time when the save is ended. But Bournemouth has run its course for wonderful seasons. Three seasons of hurt where we really could have won the title. But a lovely season to end it. And I'll see you guys next time as a free agent, as a manager. Welcome back, YouTube. We are currently a free agent. I want the Brighton job. There we go. We're in for it. I'll think I have to sim through a day for the job because I'm available. And there we go. And then we should be able to get in a thing anyway. All right. Off we go. Alloy Eyes, Brighton job. View job advert. Apply for the job. Off we go. Let's see if we get the Brighton job. Hey, everybody here on YouTube. What a wonderful time we did have at Bournemouth. Blood and job applicants received. What do you mean to force your wake resigning? I'm happy to be putting the particular behind me and looking forward to a new challenge. Um, I feel rather sad in many ways. It was impossible not to become attached to the club and it's a shame that it's come to an end. There we go. Um, you appeared from the outset at least to enjoy a fairly light. There are absolutely no problems between Ball and myself. This is strictly business. 
I know it's best for my career. I'm best I'm going to take a step further in my team. So they took faint supporters for their time. Um, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully can take positive next step and continue to showcase my thing. And off we go. All right. We'll get through that. Let's go. Let's see how long this takes, eh? It is time to be Brighton's manager, eh? I wonder how long this is going to take. Usually it takes a couple of days or two to get a job interview. But we'll wait and we'll see. On to the 30th. What I am going to do for everybody here on YouTube, is I'm going to stop recording until we get a job interview and I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, YouTube. Job interview here with Brighton and Hove. Let's attend it. Had to wait a few days. It's already the 7th of June. Had to wait quite a few days for Brighton to actually make them wind up. But we should be getting this one with a doddle, we hope. Anyway, I'm glad you've given me a chance to talk to the club. Let's get down to business. Your manager experience lacks a variety in our option. Can you, I've shown loyalty. Can you explain why you're willing to take the drop down for the club? I previously have an experience of managing smaller teams and would have no problems. I'm looking for a new challenge. You have previously been brought in media contract for signing inability to command and support of your players. What are you on about? I've won the Premier League title twice now. I've won a Champions League. What can you say that addresses our concerns about it happening here? That happened a long time ago. I've learned from those mistakes. I still managed to be successful despite that, which I think is the main thing to take away from the subject. I feel like that's a really good answer. Don't think what's happened. I think it's something I've learned from. Could probably... There you are. We understand the importance of having the right backward step. I like the positive to make wide scale. I like a budget. I like require a small budget to make some modifications before taking charge because I do want to bring a couple in. Are there any anything you want to do? Play direct football? I actually want to play the 4 4 2 at Brighton. Uh, I have no philosophies I want to be judged if given the job. I understand. Let's go on. Um, there's no expectation at the moment. Uh, do you have anything for us to consider? I have no requests. Done. Is that good enough for us to get the job? What do you reckon, chat? What do you reckon on YouTube? Everybody on YouTube, I'll be back with either a contract or that we didn't get the job. Welcome back, YouTube. This usually means we're going to get the job. Brighton wanted to suggest changes. Uh, following your recent interview, hiring staff and clubs. All right, suggest so changes. Here we go. Um, director of football, secondary job none. Bruno, assistant manager. All right, board of coaching staff. I want to bring an assistant. Join Borvis since my departure. All right. All right. I want my assistant. I want my actual assistant in. Head of youth development. What's John Morling like? Probably get someone in better than him. Uh, goalkeeper coach. I'm not going to bring on board. Sports scientist and that. All right. Confirm that. Done. There we are, okay. Think that's what we're going to go with everybody on YouTube and Twitch. Obviously, a couple of the lads that I wanted to bring in left. Like Lux left as soon as I left, and it looks like Antonio's left now because Allegri started. So those are the two we want to bring in. Brighton approach us. I would love two years, one year. Finalise. PSG, considering Adelaide. Don't worry about it. No comment. Because if we click continue, we are now at. Brighton. So what I'm going to do for everybody here on YouTube, I'm going to quickly pause, I'm going to save the game, and then we'll be right back to go through the Brighton squad, do all the introductory stuff, and that will be the end of the episode. I'll see you guys in just a second. Welcome back, YouTube. It is Damien. It is time to welcome you in at Brighton here. Welcome to Brighton. Uh, attend the meeting. Obviously, we will. Uh, it's great to see the lads. Uh, I think that says last night a lot more about the club. I think it would be good for me to meet the journalists. Thank for the introduction. A long, successful career. Um, I'll check out those uh, things in a second, lads. No face, ready for a little bit of the squad. I spent the next couple of days analyzing analyzing personally. Yeah, give me a little report. Uh, yeah, I'd like to read my band. Uh, great benefit to know whose contract I'm needing shortly. Can you tell you uh, how you can assist with friendlies? If you could arrange the friendlies, that'd be great. I'd like to take control of them, and that'll be all I need to do. That's your introductory stuff. Done. All right, social feed. Guero there. Unfollow Bournemouth. All right, except that hurt. Brighton's Miller offer, a background, they've won the championship a couple of times, League One, got good youth facilities and trading facilities, better than what I had at Bournemouth, to be honest. Team are excellent in terms of goalkeeping eccentricity. Uh, 
don't know if that's a good thing or not. We actually got a lot of money here, to be honest. Use good facilities. Apparently, that's a one contract. Yassine, the Moroccan goalkeeper. Interesting. Um, we actually got money to be spent. There's 43 mil, and we've got 400k in the wage budget. That's not bad. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look. All right, where's Mourinho? Mourinho is currently unemployed. Didn't get the Sunderland, the Bournemouth job. Allegri got the Bournemouth job, but anyone that wants to know. Pochettino at the moment is at Stoke, if I'm not mistaken. There's a few people that want to know who players are, so we might as well do this on YouTube quickly. Pochettino, uh, links in the description. Like, yeah, is at Stoke. Um, and Pep is unemployed at the moment, or is that Spain? Spain. There we are. There we go. He's at Spain. Um, and who do we want to know? Stuart McCall, eh? Stuart McCall. Stuart McCall's the manager of Aberdeen still. There we are. But there we go. Please don't forget to show me the tactic, mate. I wrote Roach because I'm about to load it in. There we go. And there we are, lads. There's obviously a lot of requests going around in the five-hour stream because we now out, are out at Brighton. But big times ahead, and we are going to take a look at the squad in a second. I think a few things to note is that we wanted to get Antonio back as assistant manager. He doesn't want to come to Bournemouth, or the Brighton. Um, he was sacked at Bournemouth as soon as Allegri came in, by the way, to get his own assistant in. So we are instead going to go with Michael Carrick as, as, as coach. And who's the manager of Bradford? Super Penguin. I'll look at that after in a second. Uh, who else are we bringing in? We are bringing Phil Lux, who was our former goalkeeper coach in here because he really wants to come and be coaching with us. Anyway, we are going to learn up a tactic. And the tactic is very simple. Back to the 4-4-2. I think that's where we'll peck. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know the tactic, we'll run it down because Roach in the chat really wants to. We've been using this 4-4-2. It won us the title at uh, Arsenal and now at Brighton just gone. Where what we do is we like to be a little bit more direct. We like to pass the ball to space, really exploit the left and the right, pass into space, be more expressive on an attacking mentality, which means that it allows us to press really high up the field in a counter-pressing system. There we are. We'll be counter when we win the ball, looking for space. And if we can exploit the space in behind for some quick, pacey strikers or our wingers, highly recommend. However, by playing on an attacking mentality, when you get into the final third, instead of just looking long in the final third, you actually look to recycle possession and keep it and probe space, which is great. And so doing that at a much higher tempo really um, seems to unsettle sides and works so well. And because we're on a counter-pressing system, we prevent short disc goalkeeper distribution, use tighter marking, use the offside trap. We're going to load that one in. And just in case anybody uh, ever forgets opposition instructions, um, we're not going to load this up right now, but we would go and go pressing mentality always and press the two middle centre backs by tightly marking them. That's the tactic I use, Roach. Um, I sometimes mix it in with a more possession-based 4-4-2, which I'm actually going to get teams to learn right now. I should really save this one, but we like to still pass in the space but be slightly shorter at a little bit of a higher tempo. Um, instead of taking longer, we do go to the center backs. We still do everything quite simply as we do, but it's just more possession-based. We do look to keep the ball, make a conscious effort to keep it instead of looking long. Um, and there we are. So what we are going to do before we do end is we are going to go to the team report. Um, I don't know who my best staff person is for this, but let's have a look at my coaching staff. There's only four of them. Also, mates, thanks for showing me any time, Roach, because we are about to go pick our best team. John Morling is not the best. Tom Braddon is horrible. And Will's not great. All right. Um, we'll go to the team report. We'll see the squad depth. And we'll have a look what Mark Bead is going to tell us. I'll go with our head of youth development and see what happens. So Rossi and Dyer. Dyer scored a couple past me. He doesn't look the greatest, to be honest, um, as a winger. He's not bad as a winger, though. And off we go. Um, there's a couple guys that got free star. Tom Davies, McKean. They actually got some decent midfielders here. Um, it looks like... Oh, by the way, this guy was on my radar at Bournemouth. Barry's a freak, and we're going to build a team around this guy. This guy is unreal. He is current, he, This guy could be amazing. Uh, probably... Don't know him. Uh, they've got no real decent staff. We'll, we'll get around this. In the end, the centre-back is amazing. Aaron McDonald, by the way, on the other side, the 20-year-old Englishman, is on loan from Man United. Ouch, I thought he would have been ours. Anyway, that's not bad. All I want to see is Matt Ryan still here. He is. He will start because I don't care. Matt Ryan's an Aussie. He'll start. Um, on the left, looks like they've got Juna and Smith. It's not the worst squad I've seen in the world. If I was to go into the tactics and load it up, I feel like Matt Ryan would come in the goals on the top of my head. Bernard scored against me. The Brazilian, I know where I'm going to get from. So he will come on to the right. I think what we would do here as well. Ruben Loftus-Cheek is here. Interesting. He would make the bench 100%. Um, we we'll put him in at like S5, I reckon. If we had to pick a team right now, Tom Davies goes in. 
Um, who else would I go with there? Um, Rossi's a striker. We know what Mkhitaryan's going to give from us, so we'll get him in there as an inverted winger on attack because we did use him at Arsenal. It's always nice to link up with players. He still looks decent at 35. Can you check the Aussie young side at Ipswich? Can't remember his name, though. Of course I can keep um, a Kingman players in a second. By the way, Kingman players gets his shout-out. I've been a bit busy here with the YouTube episode. Kingman plays. And there we are. Here's the shout-outs in the stream. There we go. Go check him out. Great streamer. Um, knows what he's doing. Berry comes in and is probably going to be captain off the belt with Matt Ryan. Uh, who else would we go with here that I know here? Luca Pippa, any decent? The young left back? Probably not bad, actually, bring in probably as a first choice option. Um, Junker is the other left back here. It actually looks not bad. I think, well, McKenzie started for them in the middle of the park. He actually looks really good. Long throws for days. Box to box midfielder. We do use one. McKenzie would come in here as a box to box midfielder. I feel like that's pretty much what we would go with right now. Um, I think McDonald is not bad. Tom Smith is a right back by memory. It is not bad. The 32-year-old is solid. And there we are. Oh, grazie. A prego, keg, keg man plays. Prego. And off we go. Um, Castellas is not bad. In terms of strikers, I think we don't have too much. Roland's okay. Um, Dry is not the worst. He's a bit of a right mid. He's probably worth putting in on the bench as well. I think that's what we're going to go with right now. If that's what I'm going with, look how much we need to bring in terms of quality and look how much we need to bring in terms of team, in terms of getting numbers in there. For everybody on YouTube, that's going to be the end of the episode. That will be Damo Does England Done. Next time I see you will be a transfer special and the first league game here at Brighton. It's an episode over, an episode where we say goodbye to Bournemouth. We lost an FA Cup final in the 125th minute. But do we really care? We won the greatest ever title race known in FM history. And we came out on top against the most reputable side in football manager history. We took four seasons with Bournemouth, four wonderful seasons, won the Premier League. And for that, ladies and gentlemen, go give the YouTube video a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'll see you guys next time for a transfer special. Links in the description below as always. Come follow us live on Twitch. From Damien, from Bournemouth, I'll say goodbye. And from Brighton, we say hello to a new beginning and a new challenge ahead. How many seasons will this take?